Now, parathormone is basically a polypeptide hormone that is secreted from the chief cells of parathyroid gland and its chief function is actually to increase plasma calcium levels and its secretion is triggered by low plasma calcium levels and it is inhibited by uh, hypercalcemia. Now, it has a variety of different functions, chiefly on the bone, on the GIT and on the kidneys. On the bones, it will cause increased bone resorption and if parathyroid hormone is supplemented as low intermittent doses, then it can actually stimulate bone formation. On the GIT, not directly but indirectly with the help of vitamin D, it causes increased uh, absorption of calcium. Lastly, in the kidneys, it will cause increased calcium reabsorption and inhibits phosphate reabsorption. It also uh, regulates the hydroxylation, the alpha uh, hydroxylation, one hydroxylation of vitamin D3 and thus convert it into its active form. There are two sorts of uh, abnormalities with para parathyroid hormone. Either it is secreted um, less, that is hypoparathyroidism, and it can be secreted in excess, that is hyperparathyroidism. Now, hypoparathyroidism can be caused by genetic factors, autoimmune reactions, and also its cause can be idiopathic. Now, on the mode of onset, it can be divided into acute hypoparathyroidism and chronic. The acute hypoparathyroidism patient will present with a hypocalcemia, tetany, carpopedal spasm. These are actually severely painful cramps of the muscle of feet and hand. There can be laryngospasm and it will make temporarily it it will make difficult for the patient to breathe or speak and there can be tingling of lips hands muscles and also convulsions now to treat a acute hypoparathyroid patient we should treat it as a medical emergency and give 10 percent iv calcium gluconate to stop the tetany and or oral calcium salt should be started as soon as possible Secondly, a chronic a hypothyroid patient will present with loss of hair, brittle fingernails and teeth caries, cataracts, anxiety and depression and as I already said cataracts will be associated with decreased aqueous uh, humor calcium concentration and increased sodium in the lens. The treatment for a chronic patient would be administration of ergocalciferol that is vitamin D3, this is the drug of choice and also oral calcium salts should be started as soon as possible. Now, hyperparathyroidism can be caused by a parathyroid tumor most of the times and it can also occur uh, secondary to a kidney failure. That is, as we know that uh, vitamin, vitamin D needs kidney hydroxylation, that is one alpha hydroxylation to become active. So when there is no, um, no activation of the calcium, so parathyroid gland will become overactive and increase its secretion of parathyroid. The symptoms will be hypercalcemia, hypercalciuria and also osteoporosis. The best treatment for hyperparathyroidism is actually surgical that is removal of the enlarged parathyroid gland. Also a drug known as synacalcet that is a calcimimetic agent uh, as we know that increased calcium levels inhibit parathy uh, parathyroid hormone secretion so this drug will actually act on the parathyroid gland receptors and decrease uh, parathyroid secretion and decrease serum calcium levels. 